here with i would like to discuss the problems to be is it audible yes we can hear you here with i would like to discuss the problem to be solved by this uh, spectrometry and the postulates used to develop this spectrometry and the requirements assigned to develop this spectrometry so these are all the the topics uh, that i am covering in this uh, uh, presentation Yeah. So, uh, why this spectrometry is needed? That is, see, because that Lavandier paradox is the subsequent effect of time paradox in particle physics. Because of that, there is constraints in exploring new biomolecules and constraints in exploring new in vivo biochemical uh, pathways. altogether it there is limitation to develop uh, real time therapeutic devices by molecular management so that is the feature uh, objective sir uh, based on that uh, the spectrometry is uh, uh, defined uh, so that uh, then that how this paradox can be solved that is see to resolve this um, time paradox a string matter universe paradigm has been ascribed uh, and this um, uh, uh, this paradigm needs to and uh, uh, for the integration of postulates of this paradigm with the existing physical principles pymus diagram is used to correspond most of the postulates of this paradigm with the quantum field theory in particle physics uh, so this has resulted with the development of a new atomic analogy so that describe that nucleons as the set of three string segments of triangular bipyramidal brain structures uh with nodes rotating in opposite direction while one is in uh, oscillation uh this brain structures uh, are the uh, are the that you see that because of that eigen rotation only we are getting the three dimensional um, um structure that from that one dimensional string uh that is a basic thing it, it, it is described in this uh, paradigm so another thing the peripheral string segments attached with the, these uh, nodes eigen rotates around this nucleon with a pair of tri uh, triangular the bipyramidal brain structures that represent the electrons and positrons that rotates in the in opposite direction uh with this we have that she made a distinct structure of that hydrogen was uh, uh, formulated when such nucleons joins as chain the multinuclear that elements are descriptive this multinuclear elements are classified uh, as elements with uh, two type of uh, that element one is with that open nucleon cha um, chain and the another is closed nucleon chain the examples of these elements are uh, described in that uh, slide just like that we can see that the helium uh, uh, and that the The cobalt, the semi cobalt, that that that's are open. That is, see that this chain are not closed. Whereas in that is lithium and oxygen, it is a closed chain. Uh, this is two type of uh, uh, nuclear chain is uh, defined in this paradigm. Uh, uh, so joining the same type of uh, uh that is eigen rotational connective strings that is see this are all that say uh the connective strings when there is it, it joins with an another molecule that is see uh, that another element so that is see that new molecules uh, is um, uh, defined 
uh, that is the, uh, that is in this uh, molecular modeling so uh, so that that's why that we can express and so water molecules it is expressed here so thus as a result of this molecular model so we can expect there is a uh, that is a, a wave bundle that is, that is unique for each molecule. Each molecule will have a unique uh, wave bundle that will have that is a, uh, that is a wavelets. That, is a, that wavelets that start from uh, that is a, the, the, uh, start, uh, the, there is two type of wavelets that, the, um, uh, the, the strings that propagates the wavelets. One is the paired and the other is unpaired in that uh, this molecule. So if you uh, take the C, this is uh, from the hydrogen element. So it's a paired. Whereas that C, the other strings that is free from when, when that it joins with the, the oxygen molecule, that is an unpaired. So there is a, so in total that is C, there is a bundle of wavelets uh, that's in a bundle of, uh, that's a bundle of wavelets that propagates in a, 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 a that is unique for each uh, molecule. Uh, with that, we can identify which that molecule from that signal is coming. Uh, so, the one different thing that see uh, how that see when that um, wave is propagating in that, see, that uh, string by an eigen rotation. So it that the observation is different from the particle thing. That is particle that should be observed by uh, that collapse of wave function. Whereas he, he, here we are observing by that the intercepting that the, the wave it is propagating in that um, string. So that see that the propagating string changes its uh, uh, that target. Uh, and the observer that takes takes over that the target. That's why we are that able to observe this um, when we define that the all waves propagate in string. If we consider just like that, that observation itself is a little different. Uh, so uh, uh, so to. Um, Define this um, uh, spectrometry. That is, see, we have to define uh, the primary molecule. That is, see, that we have to observe uh, um, uh, that's the base molecule. That is the primary molecule. See, from that other, that is, see, uh, the wave pattern has to be compared with that uh, uh, other um, uh, compared with that other uh, that molecule. That. So the water is ideal to define as a primary molecule because uh, the water is amphoteric uh, uh, quality. That is, uh, it can act as a base as well as as uh, acid. So that is, that's why that we are taking that water as a primary molecule for this uh, spectrometry. So altogether, because there is a lot of wavelets in a bundle, so that see this uh, uh, that sensor unit that is containing an array of detectors is is different uh, than the, the routinely available detector. See, it is something just like a tetrahedral uh, shape of detectors. With there is lot of uh, that, that see uh, array of detectors inside. Uh, so. We plan to have that say quantum computing also in that uh, with that array. Uh, that is um, the next thing is so using this um, uh, this um, uh, specific that um, uh, sensor unit, uh, we have to build three. Um, uh, three units. That's you. One is that uh, resonance 
the resonance uh, trigger in unit because that see unless we uh, trigger a uh, resonance we cannot observe that uh, um, oscillation of that uh, see of that molecule uh, then the next is the multi ohmic molecular sampling unit which in that unit we will load that see which are all the specimens has to be loaded uh, that is see either it's an in vivo that is or it see uh, that uh, from the substrate that is something just like that uh, and the third uh, one is that see uh, dtwr a sensor with the signal and the image processing unit so uh, all this uh, the, the first and second that is that uh, resonance triggering unit as well as that thing, that uh, um, uh, the sensor and processing unit both uh, are see assigned for a, to accommodate the full spectrum of wave applica applicable so that includes ultrasound also not only that the electromagnetic wave so that is it that ultrasound also has to be included because the wave itself is as a dual wavelength wave um, that is see uh, wave so if uh, uh, and one that is the lower frequency component of that that is see um, that uh, propagating wave is uh, manipulated that is it will it will reflect on that higher frequency wave that is see, that's why uh, see the whole range of uh, that see uh, wave spectrum has to be uh, included for a, a in this uh, device in this unit so um, then see what see how that see we are going to uh, adapt that see that outcome from this spectrometry that is that see the, the thing is that outcome from the spectrometry will um, see is expected to update the material science specific to recharacterization of molecules and updating the properties of elements in the periodic table so that is the one of the thing we are see, expecting see another thing is that identification and characterization of new biomolecules of interest and the recharacterization of protein of interest so that is see that the existing the proteins that the, that the very character that is new characters can be added the identification of new misfolded prion like proteins isoforms so that will affect that there will be a development of therapeutic and preventive measures in human coronavirus disease also in this uh, spectrometry is very well it's, it is applicable then that uh, and the altogether we have to see aiming for the development of synchronized uh, molecular deassembling device that that is that is uh, expected to provide a promising that curative um, uh, treatment for cancer uh, that is a device that is after the stabilization of this uh, 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 spectrometry that is see, that is see, uh, following this one we can uh, develop that uh, that um, set of uh, instruments to fight uh, against uh, cancer without radiation so altogether there are, in this stage what we are expecting is that it's a, uh, uh, extensive team development uh, um, and the collaboration at the uh, uh, emsl uh, because it's, it's, it, it, this what so far done is only the base work that is it needs an elaborate uh, uh, spectroscopic uh, uh, data collection uh, that of all molecules and, and element is required for the for the detection of few molecules so that is system development is one of the major thing that is is, is respected in uh, uh, that is emsl uh, so with this i conclude this uh, presentation and uh, uh, that is, I thank uh, that is, uh, EMSL and everybody who provided this opportunity to provide uh, the present this work. Thank you all. Any questions? Uh, 
Thank you so much, Dr. Johnson. That was a really great talk. It was fascinating to learn about. Um, can you talk a little bit more? It's an interest thing about um, your research on the coronavirus. And I think on slide 12, you mentioned about tracing and neutralizing it. Yeah, that's the, uh, uh, the thing is, see, when, the, when the, the, the spectrometry is able to capture the molecular level, that is a uh, wave pattern. So uh, that is, a, um, we can identify that which the, the, the group of molecules that constitute the protein uh, that, is a, uh, that is located in the coronavirus can be located. And that is, a, we can send that, that's a uh, molecular de-assembly signal, that is, a, uh, that is impulse. Um, maybe that is a, um, uh, um, that even uh, ultrasound can be used to, to deassemble the, the protein. Uh, that is uh, um, invasive to that uh, host. So by that we can uh, that is a, um, disintegrate, that we can make that virus to disintegrate and that you can neutralize that uh, virus. But it's okay, a, great. Huge work needed to <laughs> proceed forwards. Right. Well, um, there aren't any other questions in the chat, so I just want to say thank you very much for your presentation again, and we can move on.